Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and today we're working on killing bees. If you look down here on this return, up in there is where there was a bee's nest inside. There were all these bees coming in and out of there, and my wife was complaining. So I'm at the return, you can kind of see a bunch of uh, dead bees here, and uh, if we look closely, right here is where they were getting in. Up underneath the, between the shingles and the uh, soffit there, there's a little gap, so I'm gonna have to caulk that, but you can see I sprayed some, uh, actually ant and roach spray, and uh, that was killing them as they tried to return to their nest. So here's a look up in the attic, and I don't know how well you can see it, but they were packed all the way down in the bottom corner. I'll try and show you where the nest was. So here's where the nest was, all the way down there in the corner. Very hard to get in there. I didn't film the actual removal of the nest because it's so dark up here. It's really hot up here. I was worried about fumes from the ant and roach spray I used because they were actually out of that bee spray. Um, I don't know if you could see it, but there's still some remains of the nest there. And there's a lot of dead bees. This nest was about the size of a Thanksgiving turkey. Anyhow, this, this attic nest really caused quite a problem for me because... I basically had to lay down on my belly and I had to walk on the rafters without like stepping on the, the drywall ceiling and falling through and there's trusses up there so there's nowhere to run so I'm kind of laying down face first trying to fight this nest and you could just hear the fury inside there with everything buzzing around. So <clears throat> what I ended up doing was I didn't want to get trapped in the attic and get stung a million times. I was thinking I was going to like poke a hole in the nest and then, uh, you know, try and spray it. But the problem with doing that is once you poke a hole in the nest, then the bees have a way to get out of the nest besides going to the outside and could, you know, pretty much sting me all over the attic. So what I ended up doing was um, instead of using the bee spray, I had the ant and roach spray and uh, I sprayed the back side of the nest. I sprayed all this uh, paper mache and uh, I waited uh, about 16 hours and basically the the buzzing had uh, basically stopped inside the nest. And as you can see there's still bees moving around. Here's some bee larvae. You can kind of see them moving around just getting ready to become bees. I don't know how long it takes for their life cycle for them to go from those little pupas to actual bees. So you can see the bees are kind of alive but <clears throat> I'm thinking like most of them must have gotten out of the nest because uh, I think I had them pretty irritated because I was working on them from the outside before I went into the attic. Well, this is it. This is where those bees meet their fate. And surprisingly, as you can see, that nest burns really well. I didn't even put anything on it. Burns like a beeswax candle. So anyhow guys, I'm Double Wide 6 and uh, hoping you like this video. A little different than my usual stuff, but I just thought it was pretty cool. So I picked up the camera and uh, luckily I didn't get stung. And uh, if you ever have to go after a nest, I'd recommend just spraying the outside of it and letting it soak in. Seemed to work really well. And uh, it's also a good idea from what I heard to go after these nests at night time. The bees are a little bit more docile. So, 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll put a link on the bottom to the the spray I used to kill these things in case you're interested in going after your own nest. But be careful and have a great Labor Day weekend. It's back to work for me. So take care. See ya.